Okay, today we're going to have a quick look at some basic safety tips when you are cutting lino. You can see here there are two different types of tools. These are probably more suitable for someone with longer fingers or bigger hands. This one is good, it's a little bit shorter, you can see the difference. Um, but the safety tips I'm going to show you are suitable for both tools. The first thing you need to know is that you never ever point the blade, or the sharp part of the blade, this part here, towards yourself. Now if I was to cut like this and cut towards, you can see I'm cutting towards my finger directly. This also includes turning it around to cut. You should always cut away from yourself and you should always um, include pointing the blade away from any part of your body. You want to cut out from corners. Now the reason we do that is if we slip, we're also still pointing this away from ourselves. You can see I keep my hands here so that these fingers are steady against the lino. And also the round shape of the cutter handle fits nicely in the palm of your hand here. Or I actually feel comfortable having it here so you can see how my hands wrap around it. It depends on what you feel comfortable with and also how big your hands are. One thing you don't want to do is this. You don't want to have your hands, your fingers under like this because it will lift you up off the lino. And the reason you don't want to have too big a high or higher angle is that it forces you to cut deeply. And that leads me to the next guideline. You don't actually need to cut that deep into the lino. You'll see that as I'm cutting, I'm turning the block around so that I never cut towards myself. All right? And you can see that I don't have a lot of pressure on here. Now if I did, if I had it up on an angle and I felt the only way to get out was to push really hard, you don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want to lower the handle so that you change. You can see that the curl here is moving. If I lower this and then I wiggle it, you can see how it finishes the cut. And that's how you want to get out of it. If you feel like you cut too deep, then lower the blade and wiggle it out. So, we don't cut towards ourselves, either towards ourselves here or towards another part of our hands. Um, we cut out from a corner so that if we slip, it slips away from us. If we feel like we're digging too deep, we lower the blade and we wiggle it out. You'll see here, the next tip I'm going to show you is how to make sure you don't slip because the black lines here are ones we want to keep safe. We don't want to scratch into that. Um, we, so you can see in this section I've done an outline. So if I cut out of the corners like I showed you before, I'm going to cut this section now. I am going to cut out of here. My hands, no part of me is in front of the sharp blade. And I'm turning the block, turning the block. I get almost to the corner, I stop, and I'm going to turn the blade around. You can see I'm moving my hand away. I'm still holding it firm, and I cut out from the corner. And see, I wiggled in just to get it. If it's only a little bit and you're not sure, you can wiggle your way up. And then you join the line. See that? And now I'm going to cut out from the corner. And I'm going to go almost all the way into the corner, but not quite. So in here, and I'm going to stop, and then I'm going to turn it around. And once you get into the habit, and you get the knack of it, you can see how quickly you can do it. So I'm going to cut out from the corner and round, out from the corner, and join up that one, out from the corner, outline this one, out from the corner, out from the corner, and out from the corner, and whoopsie, you can see I slipped, that's okay. I slipped into the bit I want to cut, not into the black, so I'm going to come back here, rejoin that, and join it up here, and wiggle it out. Okay, if you get to a round bit, like you can see here, you start your cut, and it's just like before when I was doing the other one, just little uh, turns of your block so that you join up and make the line but you're never pointing towards yourself. Once I've got these outlines inside, one thing that, that helps me with in terms of safety is it creates like a little buffer or a little gutter. So that if I want to cut across now, I can cut across and it stops there and I don't cut into the black. 
Now, if you get into the position and you're cutting your lino and you feel like you're going to be stuck or you're digging too deep, remember what I said, you lower the handle and you wiggle out. All right? If by some reason you forget and you do cut yourself, the first thing you want to do is go and see your teacher. I'll tell you what you need to do. All right? um, but if you follow the instructions, you shouldn't actually need to see your teacher if you've cut yourself because you shouldn't cut yourself. If you cut across your lines, we can't actually repair it because um, you'll see it in the print, but that's actually not the end of the world. There are little tips and techniques you can do after your print to cover up little mistakes like that. So, basic recap. Never point towards yourself. Cut out from corners. If you feel, Don't push too hard. If you feel like you're pushing hard, too hard to get the cut, lower the handle and wiggle it out. If you are feeling like you're pushing too hard, then you probably want to check with your teacher your blade for your tool might be too blunt and they can help you decide that. Remember to cut the outlines so that you have a nice uh, gutter or buffer zone for you so that when you cut across you've got a nice outline. Okay, take your time because it is, you do create interesting lines when you do your print but that's a basic introduction to staying safe while you're doing lino cutting.